Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Mike, and thanks again for watching this video. This is Ning uh, Tutorials number two, and today I'm going to talk about uh, adding features and such like GIFs, um, applying Ning apps, um, um, you know, putting together Twitter, Flickr together, and even posting latest activities on your website. So, I'm going to talk about this um, section of the uh, managing tab on your Ning network if you are a net network creator. So I'm gonna start off with GIFs. Now this is one of the recently added uh, applications on Ning where you can uh, give GIFs to your uh, yeah, members or you know stuff like that. So you can actually buy GIFs from your Ning store I guess um, with the accumulated gift points or something like that you get. Um, you could participate in um, getting money from your gift store so uh, I haven't really tried any of that out but you could go in there and check it out uh, I guess if you have some PayPal information you can put that in there as well and um, you can look up some of the uh, gifts uh, uh, help section so just click on that and it'll talk about more into that I'll probably put this link in the video description so you guys can check this out um, this I guess it talks about more uh, more into the gift thing but I won't be doing that right now but you know that's just that part of it uh, you can update your gift store you manage the gifts that you send and receive to people uh, so these are the um, gifts you can give to people you can feature it you know stuff like that alright so I'm just gonna go back out of there uh, so another thing if you want to give a gift to somebody you would go to the members page so click on members and click on somebody you want to give uh, a gift to so click on their name and right underneath where it says uh where is it oh here it is uh you can give this member a gift by clicking give you know such such a gift and uh, there's some free ones like this one uh, you probably type in free and it'll show up a list of the free ones but uh, there's ones that have certain credits that you need to buy with it so at the bottom you see how many credits you have I have 2250 if you haven't spent any this is what you would have um, so you can add it up and buy stuff for Valentine's Day you know things like that um, it's a cool way to interact with your members and um, kind of get to know them and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to head back into Manage and uh, talk about the features. Now, this is really important. Uh, features control basically your layout of your Yining network. So at the top, I have my description of what my website is about. A few text boxes, which you can add HTML and widgets and a whole bunch of other cool stuff in it. Um, you could rearrange anything so you could put the members at the bottom or put them at the top um, your badges you could place your badge somewhere like that um, you know just rearrange stuff you can add video features onto it as of right now I kinda taking that off but you can add video to it so if you want to um, embed your own videos like you know upload video to your site you can do that you can add certain events notes rss feeds and birthdays for certain members so if they have birthday and they you know listed their birthday they can um, put it in and then they'll show it as an event for that person's birthday when it comes up stuff like that so like i said you can rearrange it however you want you can put the blog at the top if you want you can put it back at the bottom you know but there's a limit you can only put about 20 features before it was a little more but then kind of um, changed things around so i'm not going to kind of edit anything because before I used to have everything all filled up but when I started removing stuff and then maybe like a month later Ning had reduced the amount of features you can add to your Ning site so I'm not gonna chain it, change anything so yeah I'm just gonna press cancel um, but that's a good way of rearranging a site so like I said if you go home to your main page um, you can uh, your features would have allowed you to move things around the way you want it to and this layout for me is pretty cool I um, put things I want the members to be at the top um, this is where my description is at and you know things like that um, so like I said the text boxes is things like 
uh, it will say enter your text here. You go and edit, put whatever text you want, and in there you can add a picture of any sorts uh, under 250k, and you can add certain pictures and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, good way of doing um, stuff like how I put. Uh, let me see. Cancel. I put upcoming contest right there. Featured member on the website. Uh, recent contest winner. Things like that you could do. All right. So I'm gonna go back into manage and Ning apps. Ning's Ning's apps is basically like widgets. They're um, stuff you can put on your um, your site so that people can interact with your applications. They can add their own applications from here. Um, things like that. So let's say Ustream. I'm on Ustream right now, so I might want to put a uh, Ustream application on my Ning site. So if I go to add app, what it's going to do is make a tab somewhere on your uh, network, and from there you could go into that Ustream app and set it up to where when you're on live, you can um, people can see you and stuff like that. Um, let me see. You got sell it where if you're doing um, stuff, you're selling stuff like uh, I don't know whatever you might be selling. You can have an application there that shows the list of your products and everything, and it'll take you to secure checkouts like PayPal stuff like that. You know, it's a whole bunch of stuff you guys can look through in here. So Ninx apps is definitely really cool. Um, I used to have this on our site before. It's called Emote. So basically, it's like setting your status with emotions. So if you feel like you're happy, you can set your emotion to happy. So whenever people visit your page, they can see that, you know, you're happy, or you're sad, or you're depressed, things like that. So, like I said, you know, you might want to take a look into this, a whole bunch of uh, stuff in here for you. Some fundraising, e-commerce, e um, fun and games, communications, collaborations, staff picks. Uh, you also got featured, which is these right here. And if you're looking for a particular one, then you know what, you just search it and put it there. You got Google Docs. Um, box.net I use that to upload some of my files there sometimes um, so yeah look checkers you guys can play checkers together I guess so yeah um, that's the Ning apps uh, let me see Twitter and Flickr you can import I guess let me see allows Ning members to import photos from Flickr okay so you if you have a Flickr account you can import photos from Flickr if you have an account and uh, a Twitter app allows members to post Twitter to microblogging services. And, all right, so you can intertwine your uh, your Twitter with your Ning site, so you can post certain updates and everything, and you know, of course, save it. And so, whenever you're on your page, so let's say if I go to my page, so this is my page right here. You will see a little Twitter thing. This is not from the app, but this is like from Ning. They're integrating. Twitter stuff with Ning, so you could post your Twitter and you could put whatever you want to Twitter and post it. Or if you want, you could where it says "Welcome to my page," you could just upload stuff. I'm put making some tutorials, and I could press update, and it's gonna send it directly to Twitter. Or if you have the choice to, you could uncheck it and post it, and then it'll just be a status update on the Ning site. So it's pretty cool, some cool stuff. Alright, and the latest activity finally is uh, your basically latest activity is self explanatory. So you can add your own message. So you can say, hey guys, what's up? Um, did you, you know, recognize the new design I put on Ning site? Like that. If you want, you can type in your own message. Uh, or you could ch choose the drop down. So let's say I have. There's 540, I mean 554 members on Mike's Designs. You can post that. I press Add Message. What it does is says your um, your status or activity has been saved. And what you would do is just go all the way back to your main page. Go all the way down to your latest activity, depending if you if you have it here. Um, and there it is right there. There's 540 something members on my website. And it will be like a little link to members and you click on that members link and then see all the members, the featured members and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. I really like it. Um, I usually often use it a lot. And um, that's pretty much it. And you can set the, um, you know, certain activities you would allow to see and stuff like that. So it's me, Mike. Um, another Ning tutorial, for you, Ning tutorial for you guys. So I hope you guys like and I'll be making another video soon. Um, peace.